네, 오늘은 지난 시간에 이어서 Tell us about some recent trends in your country 라고 하는 질문을 미국에 살고 있는 에밀리 씨에게 던져봤죠. Oh, she was talking about the uh, yoga pants and things, right? <웃음> yoga trousers for yes, you. Yes, in England, yeah. 네, <웃음> 그래서 fitness clothing, fitness wear, 운동이죠. 운동복을 사람들이 어디에서나 입는다라고 하는 그 트렌드를 이야기했고요. 오늘은 다른 트렌드를 이야기할 텐데 먼저 교재 74페이지에 나와 있는 단어 중에서 두 개만 살짝 보겠습니다. 첫 번째, 유기농의 라고 하는 형용사 어떻게 말하죠? Organic, organic, so no chemicals. You see this in the supermarket sometimes, 그렇죠. in English. 네, 유기농이라고 할때 영어로는 organic, 그래서 유기농 음식, organic food가 되겠죠. 네. 이제 방부제, 방부제는 영어로? Preservative, preservative, P-R-E-S-E-R-V-A-T-I-V, 긴 단어지만, <웃음> just means some chemicals to extend the life of something, right? That's right, preservatives help preserve food. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you often see on the package no preservatives. 그렇죠. 네. 무방부제. 그렇죠. 네. 한국에서는 무 한자로 써 있죠. 아, 네, 네. 자, 그러면 에밀리 씨의 두 번째 이야기 듣고 올까요? On top of that, restaurants are popping up all over the city that serve only healthy or organic foods, and it's very trendy to eat in places where they serve food with little to no preservatives. Not to mention, being active is very popular in my city. No matter where you go, there will always be someone who is working out, whether they're running or walking their dogs. And whenever you see them, it's always very motivational. Okay, some very interesting trends. Some different ones she's talking about, right? 네, 두 개를 이야기하고 있습니다. 자, 그러면 첫 번째 줄입니다. On top of that, restaurants are popping up all over the city that serve only healthy or organic foods. 네, 게다가 앞에서 지난 시간에 fitness wear 이야기를 했기 때문에 mm -hmm. 운동복 이야기에 이어서 게다가 on top of that Additionally is what it means, right? 그렇죠. Moreover, mm -hmm. 여러 가지 다른 표현들로 바꿔볼 수 있겠는데 식당들이 많이 생기고 있는데 어떤 식당들인가 하면 은 건강한 음식이나 유기농 음식만 판매하는 식당들 I think that's a trend all over the world, right? And mm -hmm. she said that these restaurants are popping up So mm -hmm. that means they appear somewhere but usually like really quickly and and in great numbers 그렇죠. popping up 네. here there everywhere pop up 이라고 하면 pop up store도 있잖아요 아 그렇죠 pop up 갑자기 store. 생기는 거 네, 갑자기 and then 생겼다가 it just goes away they disappear yeah that's the plan mm. right they don't just go out of business no pop up store 잠깐 임시 가게를 가리키기도 하는데 yeah. so they're popping up exactly yeah. you can get that feeling right there's 네. many of them appearing suddenly 네 그리고 이 문장 마지막 부분이 좀 재밌어요 한번 소리로 확인해 보시죠 that serve only healthy or organic foods that serve only healthy or organic foods 네 일단 <웃음> 건강한 건강이라는 말이 나온 건 알겠고 그렇죠. organic healthy. 네, healthy 나왔고 mm -hmm. 그다음에 organic 나왔는데 그 연결 부분이 어떻게 들으면은 healthier Yes. But it's healthy or. 그렇죠. 근데 문장상으로 it just sounds exactly the same. Healthier or healthy or organic foods. <웃음> 네. 자, 그러면 여러분에게는 어떻게 들리는지 이제 healthy or organic foods가 더 자연스러운데 mm. 혹시 healthy or처럼도 들리지는 않는지 확인해 보시죠. On top of that, restaurants are popping up all over the city that serve only healthy or organic foods. Please continue. And it's very trendy to eat in places where they serve food with little to no preservatives. Mm -hmm. 그리고 방부제를 거의 안 넣거나 아예 안 넣은 음식을 판매하는 곳에서 밥을 먹는 것이 또 유행이라고 합니다. Very trendy, mm -hmm. right? It's very cool to do that. 그렇죠. Trend, 유행이고 trendy 하면 은 유행하는인데 It's very trendy, it's cool to go to restaurants where they have food with Little to know. 이것도 많이 쓰는 말이죠. Yeah, this phrase, little to know, it's like having a range, you know, little hyphen no, little to know. So 네. in between that range. So it just means hardly any or 네. none. 그렇죠. For example, I have little to no knowledge about, say, violins. Viol really? 네, 전혀 몰라요. I have, I have a lot of knowledge 아, about 진짜로요? violins. 아, 진짜로요? No. <웃음> turn, yeah. Yeah, 저는, I have little to no knowledge as well. 바이올린을 만져본 적도 없어요. Oh, really? Then in that case, I would say, you know, I have little to no knowledge. Yeah. 그렇죠. 거의 없거나 전혀 없다라는 말인데요. Mm. 결과적으로 없는 거죠. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So it does. You don't have to think of it scientifically. Just when you have hardly any of something, you say little to no. That's right. Okay, listen again. And it's very trendy to eat in places where they serve food with little to no preservatives. And next. 
Not to mention being active is very popular in my city. 물론 제가 사는 도시에서 활동적인 being active 생활 방식 자체가 very popular 인기가 많이 있다고 하는데요. Yeah, 물론은 재밌죠. Not to mention. Not something. to mention. So there's not even any need to mention it. Yeah, because it's so well known already. 네. Not to mention. 당연한 거니까 not to mention 하면은 이제 물론이란 뜻으로 번역이 됩니다. Yeah, okay, listen again. Not to mention being active is very popular in my city. Hmm, tell us more about being active. No matter where you go, there will always be someone who is working out, whether they're running or walking their dogs. 네, 어디를 가든지 사람들이 working out, 운동하고 있는 사람이 꼭 있을 텐데 뭐 달리기를 하고 있거나 개를 산책시키고 있거나 아무튼 working out, 어떤 방식으로든 하고 있다는 거죠. Yeah, no matter where you go. So anywhere, right? It doesn't matter where you go. Um, and some Korean people, I think, they think working out only means exercise in the gym uh-huh. or running, but it can mean like walking your dogs yeah, walking and anything leisurely as yeah. well. Or just, I guess, hitting yourself with some sticks is, is working out. <laughs> working out. <laughs> <laughs> anything can be working out as long as it's exercise. 네. 똑같은 단어 되는 거죠. Exercise 하고 working out. 네. 그래서 운동이라고 했을 때 정말로 체육관 가는 거 아니라는 것만 참고해 주시고요. Mm-hmm. 다시 한번 들어보시죠. No matter where you go, there will always be... Someone who is working out, whether they're running or walking their dogs. Okay, and to finish off? And whenever you see them, it's always very motivational. Mm-hmm. 앞에서 no matter where you go, 이거는 어딜 가든 이런 거였고 mm-hmm. 여기 나오는 whenever는 언제든 <웃음> 네. 그래서 언제든지 그런 사람들 볼 때마다 very motivational, 자극이 된대요. Yeah, it motivates you to want to work out is what she's saying, yeah. right? And uh, motivational is also used in this phrase, motivational speech. Yeah, or motivational speaker is someone oh, who right. always speaks motivating other people. Yeah, I think a lot of university students these days, they actually seek out uh, motivational speeches. Uh-huh. 이렇게 좀 특강 같은 것들을 많이 들으시더라고요. 그렇죠. To try and get some kind of inspiration. Or motivation. Yes, exactly. <웃음> Perfect. Okay, recap that last sentence. And whenever you see them, it's always very motivational. Okay, Emily from the US talking about trends in her country. On top of that, restaurants are popping up all over the city that serve only healthy or organic foods. And it's very trendy to eat in places where they serve food with little to no preservatives. Not to mention being active is very popular in my city. No matter where you go, there will always be someone who is working out, whether they're running or walking their dogs. And whenever you see them, it's always very motivational.